Winter's here. No bees in the winter. That is something I do like about this game is that they try to make it seem realistic. It's winter. That's when there's snowmen. There are no bees in the winter, but the honey's still there. Fuck you. You fucking piece of shit. Fucker. Oh, can't do anything to him. What if I go invincible? Nope. What a waste. You can only kill him when you're flying. Those guys are brutal. There's a whole bunch of them now. Wow. So many cheesy sound effects. Masochist, a person who derives sexual gratification from their own from their own pain or humiliation. Okay, so it's always sexual. Is a masochist? Eat this, dick. Nice, look at that. And I hurt myself. And I'm not flying. Well, that's terrible. I got a force field around me. Of butt eggs. Yeah, it's a good idea. As soon as you're flying, save state. Oh yeah, these guys will knock you out. These guys will take you down. Down to Chinatown, mister. What the fuck? Oh, motherfucker. Oh. You've got to nail them right in their fucking hats. Right where they're right where the bandages. Oh, son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Son of an ass. No lock on here, boy. Alright, so I guess you want to be pretty high. Also, don't get hit by this guy. I got him! Yes. Wonderful. Alright, nice and high, nice and high, nice and high, nice and high and close. Boom! ever lived. I am winning with a child's game. Yeah. Or you just gotta get really close. And that really lowers the difficulty. This isn't even for like a jiggy or anything. This is just to stop them from ravaging you with their snowballs. Sometimes he shoots down, and then sometimes he goes straight through. So what's it gonna be? It's, oh my fucking god, you just gotta get so close. Nope, it didn't work. I don't know if you can aim it. It'd be nice if the camera caught up to what the hell was going on. Why is the camera operating differently than it ever has before? Yes. That worked. Save that state. Oh, they gifted me that one. Are there more of these pieces of shit? Oh, look at this fucker. Hello. And I get to... Gaze upon you. Look how you've grown. And I can fly too. Watch me as I fly into the sky. Look, this guy was an orphan. 
and I fed him caterpillars. I have reward for bear friend. Here it comes. So all those extra caterpillars I've been grabbing, he didn't need. Thought I'd have to feed him in this season. Uh-uh. Don't worry about it. But the acorns! Those were hidden. Alright, I guess I'll go around, I'll get some notes. And... We're at nine! He just shat the jiggy. I've been waiting for you to poop this out. Alright, let's get some notes. Uh, we could get the Jinjo! And then we can move on to the next one. I mean, I guess I could go around and get the these guys. I gotta get f four of these Jinjos. But I don't think you can get them all in winter. So, I'm just gonna leave now. The end. I can get a Jeggy from the squirrel in the spring? No way, really? But how would I get more? He did say see you in the spring. You rage quit? Oh shit. Oh shit. See you in the spring. This looks like a nice secret. Ooh, a warp. What a coincidence that your witch friend says that you have witch blood. And of course they can tell because, uh... They tasted your cum? Because you gave them money to do the witch blood test? I used to date a girl that believed in all kinds of stuff like that. It was very obvious. It's very obvious. You know, I will say, the girl that I dated that thought she was a witch... And she used to carry a like a wand to deionize things. Um, she was incredibly intuitive. She could, I'd be thinking of something, and she could, uh, she would pick up on it. How many do I have? I don't know. I have seven sixty-five. Motherfucker. It's come to this. <laughs> the seventh door is no more. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Time has come. Hello? All right. Thin narrow platforms. Welcome all. Grunt is the name. Banjo is here to play my game. My lair is done and he stands through. All my tricks and traps and lands, this final test will see me win. When Banjo fails, then I'll be thin. The prizes on this stand bring joy. From Tootie down to Cuddly Toy. She's so scared. My little quiz will make you sweat. And Tootie, you shall never get. For somewhere soon along the way, your lack of skill will make my day. Cause in the fiery pit you'll go, and I will win the prize on show. Step on over to the square, press A to try it. If you fall... Oh dear god. Little Lance is all I seek. 
about this game, you funny geek. <laughs> it's a game show! The giant scarf from the Freeze Easy. What are his colors? Orange and red, yellow and red, green and gray. Oh my god. I think orange and red. Fuck. Ayla Square, and you'll feel pain. Please press A to try again. <laughs> oh. His easy slalom course is grass. Through how many gates do you pass? Oh my god, it's different. I don't know, 38? You got it right! How the fuck would you know that? So you'd have to go back and do them all over again. Oh my god. So when I did a uh, save state back, I wrote down the facts about Grunty. But I didn't do this. Alright, on with the game. A visual challenge, stupid bear. To tell me who it is, or where. Who it is or where. Who it is or where. What's the visual challenge? Tell me who it is or where. What does that mean? Like, look around? Alright, I see her. Tell me who it is or where. What the fuck does that mean? Okay, you have to press A on it. I got it. All right. Oh, this is from the mansion. Right? Okay. That's fun. Now this is... Oh. Fuck. Wrong. This is such a cool idea. I say to try again. Yeah, I'll try again. Alright. That was Click Clockwood Tower? God damn it. The treehouse. Son of a bitch. Uh, okay. That's... That's the foggy mansion house. That's Misty Mountain Mansion Mansion Mansion. Right? Oh. Boo! I love how they boo when you get the answer right. Boo! This is... This is really amazing. See, again, if a game has a good ending, people love it. A good beginning and a good ending. Treasure Trove Cove was first found. Oh, I wasn't really paying attention. Feather dusters, red feathers, gold feathers. Probably feather dusters. Oh! Freeze Easy Peak is full of snow, but which of these isn't on show? A slippery seal, pathetic polar bear, a wobbly walrus. Probably a walrus? Wrong! <laughs> I raced the walrus. Oh my god. This run of luck will have to stop. Big ship's third funnel? What's up? Big ship's third funnel? There's no third funnel. There is no third funnel. Yes! <laughs> the booing. See, that's what this game gets is that they go, what would be the actual, real, the logical thing that would happen? They play by their own rules. The crowd would boo every time you get it. They're on her side. A question on the sound side play. That sounds like a chimp. Oh, no. Boo! Boo the bear! 
Finally not. You're missing the best part. <laughs> I like these picture ones. Okay. Is that the Bramble Woods? Is that Click Clock Woods? Or Mumbo's Mountain. Oh shit. Or Bubba Gloop Swamp. Boo! Right in the zero. Thanks, Orky. Boo! Shit. Spiral Mountain Fields of Green. Which veggie, bad, veggie baddie isn't seen in Spiral Mountain? That was a long time ago. Probably a potato. I think it was a potato. <sighs> oh, we've done this already. Blue, orange. Bop, 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 That is so lame that they changed the camera angle like that. Boo! They don't give you much time. No, they don't. Uh, all right, let's see if your memory's foggy. What's the name of my pet doggy? Doggy, 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 doggy. Oh shit! Doggy, 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 doggy. Big Naka. You'd have to be, you would have to buy a, a, a subscription to Nintendo Power to do this. Hit this wrong for Grunty's sake. Click Lock Woody's the king, what's the squirrel doing in spring? Eating his nuts, sleeping in his bed, looking for the beaver. He eats in the summer, right? I thought he was eating in the spring. Yeah. In the summer he's full. In the fall he needs more. Alright. Which world? Oh, okay. World music. Cavern, cluck cluck wood. Boom, 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 boom. Oh my God! Nice one, Horky. I think feathers. Well, you don't collect the other things. What? It was flowers, eh? How many bears were in that thing? It was definitely more than three. I think there was four or five. I'm gonna say four. Oh, shit.
Treasure trove got Captain Blubber. What's wrong with that sobbing lover? Captain Blubber treasure trove. He lost his gold. Now that I can remember. This is one of the best final levels of a game. This is so creative. I can't believe they haven't done this. Like who? Why haven't people been copying this? Oh, that's a uh, bubble gloop swamp, bitch. I remember. I remember. What's another of my pastimes? Oh, flying radio control bats, dragging teeth. I think bursting boils. Whatever sounds the most disgusting. Fuck. Fuck. It's so hard to, like, I wrote down all these answers and it's so hard to find the answer. School is my best friend. Uh, oh, Sweaty Betty. Two health. <sighs> Which character has this cool voice? Oh, that's you! <laughs> That's a feather. That's either a gold feather or a feather. Red feather. I think it's the red one. To you. Oh. Whack them all. You kind of have to go after the second one that comes up. So you have enough time. Yes. Boom! In Bubble Group Swamp, there's no doubt. Which of these is the odd one out? I lost a lot of health. Oh shit. Oh shit. Rotating bones. The saw blades are pretty tough. Come on, visuals. Oh, Jesus. I think that's inside... Um... I think that's Mumbo's Mountain. We hate you, bear! Look at my hair. See it flow. What's it washed with? Do you know? Something disgusting. Engine oil, baked beans, rancid milk? Whatever's the most disgusting. A lovely specimen in its pot. It's by my bed. What have I got? A loogie bush? An eyeball flower, a veruca. I don't even. I don't know what a, a veruca plant is. So I'm gonna say bush. 
Uh oh. Is it this? Now let me think. What is Grunty's favorite drink? Cold worm juice, smoothie elf, and sweat. Camel spit milkshake? Oh, I guess worm juice. Boom! Listen up. Conker was in there. You know, I will say that although the music is good in this game, almost all of the music from each levels, like you could interchange them and play them at any time, and they all fit. They don't really have much personality that say, this is a scary place, this is a, a deserty place. They're all, they're all kind of the same. Some of them have more reverb. <laughs> yeah? Oh no. Hmm, all right, sure. Oh, this one's tough. What the fuck? Oh, I, I ate a yellow one. Son of a bitch. Stop it! Oh, I did I eat the wrong one? What the fuck? Why does he keep stopping? Am I supposed to be eating the red guys? Eat in lines. Oh, it changes the top. Okay, I was not even seeing that. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna fail this. Oh, it's a different, it's totally randomized. Mighty big box you must now fight. I've got one health. Well, at least we're getting to see a lot of these. The name of the game you must spell backwards, though. Oh, fucking shit. Banjo Kazooie. Uh, Zooey. Okay, E. Oh, I. I. Double O. Is there another O? Za. A K. Where's the K? 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 Fucking fuck. O J. O J. O J N A B N. Fuck. That is not a lot of time. These are beating my ass down. 
Oh, they have it on the wall too, that's nice. The tiles await for you to match. Ah. Feather. Bear. Feather and a bear. Music note. Music note, feather, bear. Bird. Wookum bookum. Bear. Fucking Christ. I think I need some help. Oh yeah, you'd have the box. Which color Jinjo is a fake? Green, yellow, brown. I don't think it's a brown Jinjo. What's that Joker thing do? It's a sort of like a wild card. Uh oh. Eden lines. Look up at the top. Mumbo Magic Help Bear win nasty game. We got it. This is tough. Your chances are slim. Of you eating more than him. Okay, red stuff. Green stuff. Green stuff. Green stuff. Red stuff. I guess it just keeps swapping back and forth. Yeah. Oh, no, wrong one. Go, 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 go. I really needed to get, like, just right ahead of him. Beat my ass again. The mighty box. Sounds like it's going well over there. I think I remember there being an egg. There we go. Uh, right here? No. There was the egg here. And then that was a feather or the kazooie? No, ikambokum. Ikambokum. Big bear, big bear, big bear. Music note. Ikambokum. There. Oh, honeycomb. Feather. The bird. Son of a bitch. That was like, what was that, like 20 attempts? 
Okay, try to avoid the time trial ones. They're the fucking worst. Spiral Mountain's got my face. How many molehills in this place? How many molehills in Spiral Mountain? How many molehills? I don't know. I don't know. And you know what? Bitch, I'm cheating. Got it. Do the picture thing to get another honeycomb. Uh, th oh, that's um Treasure Trove Mountain. Ah, it's so satisfying and so simple. Oh yeah, good call, Horky. Get a little bit of health. You know where you've been? Oh, um, Gobi. Gobi Valley or whatever? Yes. Boo! Look at my build muscles taut. What's my most enjoyable? Sput? Twat? Sput? She likes either belly barging or loogie flicking. I mean, she even gave the hint away, right? Remember now before you lose. What type of toothpaste do I use? Tuna ice cream, salted slug, moldy cheese. I think it's tuna ice cream. Yes. Uh, in bubble gloop, swamps, giant egg. What's not inside? You needn't beg. Bubble gloop, what's not inside? Probably an extra life. Good lord. No one can win, I was assured. By the makers of this board. It doesn't rhyme. It's not fair. How I long to be real thin. Now you can take the prize on show. While up the winding stairs I go. You won't catch me, I've made sure. Sure. Made all the credits. You'll now endure. <laughs> Which prize should we take, Azui? Me, 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 me. I don't know, that cauldron's pretty nice. What was stopping you from leaving? That's it? No lava level? No boss fight. You just have to prove you know the game. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. That was epic. I wish more games did that, though. Would quiz you on the game you just played. But they would also have to admit, in a way, it would have to, it's, it's sort of like a fourth wall breaking where you'd have to sort of consider that they're not a. Uh, you know, it's a game, right? <sighs> da, 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 da. Juju! Deputy Keyboard Tapper Graham Snippet Smith. There was a lot of love that went into this game. Cartoony bits and more scribbling. Head Jinjo Brian. 
That's cool. I mean, the way that scene crayoner, Steven Sandy Butt. Tank top, more sketching. You fucker. I fucking hate you. I like you, Tip Top. Grant Clanker Kirk Hope. Yeah. Yeah, I reckon he's Tip Top. Tip Top in that, uh... What do you call him? That little dragon. I like the little... Not the dragon. That leopard guy. The cheetah. What's his name? Tigru. Tigro. El Tigre. Waza. <sighs> I love that thing's mouth. What are free players like? The testers? Kyle Chinker? That guy better not be Asian. Herzog. Sarah Snare Bear. Paper plushers. Paper, oh, paper pushers. I'm an idiot. Strange noisemakers? <laughs> Noah, big thanks. Noah? How about Moa? Big cheese, thanks. For these the Nintendo guys, probably? Fukuda, Howard Lincoln. Bean counting. Way to be in charge of the money, loser. Ayuri. Moving and shaking. That's probably what, like PR? Say probably the sixth best N sixty four game. Boss fight after the credits? Are you serious? Oh, right, that's where she ran off to. 
The camel guy said he was in the furnace level, or the the fiery level, and that we wouldn't find him. Oh my god, there's more? We just watched the credits and there's more? What the fuck? Uh. <laughs> uh. No shortcut for you, jerk face. Did this cheat code work? No, it did not. Okay, so saving that file and loading it is here. Now I just have to pick. So I would go... Infinite Notes. What else? Always have the Jinjos. Character to... Uh, character select? Who could it be? Mumbo tokens. Take off and fly from anywhere. Access all moves. Game 100% complete. Do a shock spring jump from anywhere. Alright, I just want the notes. I might need the jiggies, though. Okay, now what? Apply changes. I don't feel like I have... Unlimited notes. I see how a lot of the appeal of this game is that... Oh yeah, right at zero. Is that you could own it for a couple years and you could keep going back into it and finding things, you know, finding hidden things. That kind of stuff. I guess Mario doesn't have as many secrets. This is all secrets. For the most part. And now it doesn't want to load. So that is it. The journey with banjos come to an end. Worth checking out. I mean, there's so much great music and great visuals. Really fun levels to look at. Because of its age and its design, it can be a bit of a slog to get through, especially at the end. But also, games back then weren't always meant to be beaten by everybody. So it's... But it was funny. I think, yeah, the best part were the... Were the friends we made along the way. The sense of humor. Seeing all the different characters. I mean, the characters were, like, very detailed. Big polygons. Pretty impressive at the time. I like it a little, like, I'd say right in the... Kind of in the beginning, in the middle of the game, is the, is the real sweet spot of it. Where I felt like... This is good. I was actually excited to get back into it. And mess around. It's when the levels get really tough that this game feels... It just feels like work, you know? It's not like a challenge in Mario 64. You nev you're never, like, too far away from it, you know? Whereas this, when you're walking up that big mountain in Click Clock Woods, if you miss a jump, you're all the way down at the bottom. And then if you die a few times, then you go all the way back to the front of the lair. And it's just, it's a lot of, uh, it's a lot of, like, very needless backtracking. It's a very punishing game. Even though it looks like a fucking cartoon for kids. Let's watch this ending. That's such a cheesy, like, stock film sound of a plane or a car buzzing down.
What, what does he have, like, super red honeycomb health? What's that? This guy's struggling. There we go. Well, he had one struggle. Now he's back on track. I remember the, the final boss in Diddy Kong Racing was actually really tough. Oh, I see. He's got like... So the red is the next level of health. So he's got plenty. Okay, now he's just running around. He's dodging things. He's shooting at nothing. You want to get some shots in? There you go. Now he's lined up. Feed her. Feed her! Okay. Not too productive, but you didn't get hit. There you did. Beat your butt, don't even try. Use this fly pad to get up there and teach her a lesson. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad we watched the ending, actually, to, to make me feel better about not... Not struggling to get all those notes and have to do this crazy boss battle. I might have enjoyed it though. I like... I like gameplay, you know? And, uh, boss battles aren't so bad. This looks easier than dealing with those fucking, uh, time trials. And you beat her and then you have to do it again this time with the time trial. It's just like, precise gameplay is not what this game does best. This game is all personality. Oh my god, dude. This music sounds like it's straight from the MIDI soundtrack of Star Wars TIE Fighter. Where they used... They used some kind of a system. It was like the Red Book... No, the I, I something system. Where the music would change dynamically based on how you're playing. Yeah. Egg shooting, beak dashing, flying. <laughs> the sloppiest parts of the gameplay. You must make them all work together. Okay. She's sort of the first, um, what would you call it? With her scarf, she looks like she's playing Quidditch. Yeah, if you did a remake, you would have the beautiful visuals. You'd have the... Oh, the Jinjos are coming to help. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, you could fix all the clunky stuff and keep all the charm. And just don't overdo it. It doesn't have to look like Final Fantasy 16, right? Like, it could just... It can look like a slightly better game. A slightly better 3D game. This is a long boss battle. It's about as long as Sekiro. Oh my god. And I didn't have all that health. I had five health. There's no way I could have done it. This is like Contra hard. This is Castlevania. I am the mighty Ginginator. Activate me. <laughs> oh my god. Can you imagine that trying to dodge those trying to dodge those fireballs and fire in how many eggs and it's not even giving you an audio cue 
saying you're doing the right thing. Oh, you get behind him. There you go, dummy. Oh, no. You're still getting hit. It's not fun. Oh, it does. It does do a Q. I'm wrong. I'm a fool. My bad. Activate the Ginginator. That's just, this is fucking cool. This is fucking cool. Yeah, Ginginator. Oh yeah. Oh look at she is. She knows she's fucked. She knows. She's terrified. She's made a huge mistake. You underestimated the Gingos. But you can only activate the Ginginator if you've gotten every single Jinjo on every single level. Boom! He just watches them. Good scoring. Uh oh, is it not working? She's pretty cocky. But he's gonna keep smashing her. Oh, now she's scared. She was cocky. She was scared. She was cocky. And now she's scared. Congratulations, there are only four more secret levels to beat. Oh my god. <laughs> nice. Fucker. Gurn. Is she gonna stop struggling as we see her last breaths? She's a zombie with exposed bone and tui. It's the funny thing because Rare disarms you with the visual style that makes it look childish and cartoony. And then they have fairly mature jokes. Look at this guy two-fisting on the beach. Oh, because there's two of them. Who's this babe? And why doesn't that girl get a chair? Whoa! Whoa! Wave Race is better than this game. See, I think, like, sh people have a lot of love for Shadows of the Empire. And that's not a great game. That has a lot of bad levels and a couple of good levels. I never beat that. I never expected to beat it. It was just one of those games you played that kind of sucked. That's why people were so into... Ocarina of Time and Mario 64 because they were these complete games that didn't quite hold your hand, but you could complete and felt fair. Although in 1998, I mean 1998 was Metal Gear Solid, Half-Life, a lot of big games stepping it up. And moving to the next, the next level. I think 1998 was one of the was one of the best uh, best years of gaming ever. Last time we looked it up. Yeah, it's got the charm. I mean, it's kind of similar to games today in that it's it's more into its visuals and aesthetic and the experience of being there as opposed to how how satisfying the gameplay is. You know, it had like the moment to moment controls. Okay, we've seen these before. Jinxie. I mean, all these enemies are... are just so lovingly designed, and... they're just huge. Detail. That's just a full cast of enemies. Yeah, you're right. This game is Psychonauts. Psychonauts was a lot more... Um, Psychonauts was a lot fairer. Yeah, overall, Psychonauts is a better game. But this game, but Psychonauts is heavily inspired by this. Oh, 
I mean, there really wasn't anything like this game when it came out. Was there? Doesn't really feel like anything. Because it was more, I mean, if you compared it to, say, two, like, two-dimensional platformers, like, say, a like, comparing it to Donkey Kong Country, it's just those games are so much more linear. By design, right? They have to be. Whereas when you add this 3D element, you can hide things and you can miss things. But if I was going to go back to an, to an N64, I would play Mario Kart. I'd play Mario 64. I'd play Wave Race. I'd play Pilot Wings. I'd play Conker's Bedford Day, maybe. I'd play Diddy Kong Racing. I'd play Pokemon Puzzle League. I'd play... Uh, oh, I'd play all the wrestling games. WCW, NWO, Revenge, WrestleMania 2000, No Mercy. So this game would be... This would be like my 12th favorite N64 game. And it's over. It's over, Rock. It's over. I want to see them on the beach again. It's unfair to compare... Well, I mean, I would only say it's unfair to compare it to Mario because Mario was... I mean, the whole controller was built around Mario. And it was, and it was Nintendo who made it, and they put everything they had into Mario 64. So comparing them to Nintendo is is totally not fair. It's be it's better to compare Rare to just other games that came out in 1998 on the N64. So that would be 1080 snowboarding and you know games were still pretty up and down back then. But I mean if you also compare it to other games in 1998, there's some pretty stiff competition. This isn't even like the 30th best game that came out in 1998. Right? Three games, 1998. It's, it's insane. Ocarina of Time, Half-Life, Starcraft, Metal Gear Solid, Resident Evil 2, Grim Fandango, Thief, uh, some kind of crash game, Fallout 2, Xenogears, Parasite Eve, Star Wars Rogue Squadron, that's another N64 game I'd put above this, Tenchu, Baldur's Gate, F-Zero X, Sonic Adventure, Tomb Raider 3, Turok 2, I don't know anything about that, Odd World. Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six, The Unreal Engine, Mario Party. That's probably another game I play on the N64 of this. Oh, and um, Smash Brothers. Then it starts dropping off there. 1080 Snowboarding, decent game. Ray Fencher Musashi, don't want to think about it. Need for Speed 3 Hot Pursuit, Spyro the Dragon, Pokemon Red and Blue. Dune 2000. Suicoden 2. Jesus Christ. Wow. Space Station Silicon Valley. Yeah. This is a this is a fascinating relic of the time. And it was great to come back and tour through it. <laughs> but it was like a lot of games that are older, it can be tedious to complete. But I think as a game, like if for a younger kid, if, like a younger kid that had this for a couple years, I could see why they would really like this. I, I would probably really like this if I was a kid and I only had a few games. Because I would probably just love, like, you would want, you would want it to be tedious because... Because you didn't want to go through the game, right? You were like, oh, well, I, I'm going to explore every fucking inch of the level. You know? I think so. Like, when I think of how much I liked Ape Escape, 
And this game's probably better than Ape Escape. It's definitely got more personality than Ape Escape. I mean, it's hard to quantify it. But I mean, at that time, I, I remember thinking all I wanted was a big 3D colorful world like Mario 64. Just to, just to find things and explore. It was kind of like your first VR game. You don't really need much. You just want to be in that world, right? It doesn't need to have an incredible story and incredible physics and stuff. What do you mean, one lich? As an adult, you find many games who like that. Better than Ape Escape? <clears throat> it's hard to say. Ape Escape actually uh, came out later. I think Ape Escape was a 2000 game. Ape Escape 1. Release. 1999. That makes sense. All right. Pierre Schneider for IGN says, Banjo Kazooie was the best 3D platformer he has ever played and more than a worthy successor to Super Mario 64. GamePro described it as a more complex and more fluid and more attractive game than Super Mario 64. And they highlighted the game's length. <laughs> It can take 40 to 50 hours to find all the fucking shit you need to find. Super Mario 64 looks naked and aged in comparison. One habitually criticized aspect was the flawed camera system. Fixed position and underwater sections can be frustrating. Yeah. At, at the time, this looked really good. I mean, Mario was empty. Remember, though, Mario was 1996. And was the first game to come out on the N64. I mean, video games in 1996. Super Mario 64, Quake, Resident Evil, Duke Nukem 3D, Diablo, Mario Kart 64, Super Mario RPG, Tomb Raider, Crash Bandicoot. Holy shit. Parappa the Rappa. Elder Scrolls 2, Legacy of Kain, Blood Omen. Wave Race, Donkey Kong Country 3, Twisted Metal 2. Oh, wow. Everything was pretty empty back then. Die Hard Trilogy, all the 3D games. Hilo Inc. 64, Descent 2, Ace Venture, the CD-ROM game. Disney's Pocahontas. Wow, Bubsy 3D. IGN awarded the game overall best graphics of 98, best texture design, best music. That's that's an award that's not around anymore, eh? Best texture? Better than Half-Life? Or StarCraft? Interesting. I mean, it's a nice looking game. It is a nice looking game. I'll give it that. Or the, see if we can get some of the first commercials. You're them banjo kazooie. Oh yeah, this is exactly what I want to see. Thank you for the music. And it's after us. It's big. It's got huge teeth. A big beak. Bulgy eyes. <laughs> Better spur everywhere. Yeah, peace and fly. <laughs> no bears can fly. Bad guys beware. Here comes Banjo Kazooie, where you're both bird and bear with amazing powers. There's never been anything like this head banging, sky flying, rock hopping, egg shooting, tag teaming duo. Banjo Kazooie, only for Nintendo. You know what I like is that in. When uh, the first thing they show. All GIs. Feathers fur is like a missed jump. Okay, right? Okay, when he jumps off here, he's not landing on anything. He's fucking missing and going right into the water. <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious.
Not as good as the Crash Bandicoot commercials. Banjo Kazooie N64 Keebler commercial? Whoa! Mr. Keebler? Dude? And Banjo Kazooie of Nintendo 64 at your door! Uh -huh. Hello? We're looking for a magic puzzle piece. Like that one? Exacto Mundo! That's one fast little dude! Eddie, wait! You can help Banjo Kazooie find the magic puzzle piece or other things by scratching the square on the game piece inside Keebler packages. You could even win a Nintendo 64 Home Entertainment Center. For free game piece, you can write to this address. Many will enter, few will win. Uh -huh. Bummer, we're not eligible. Many will enter, few will win. Okay, this is how kids want to be talked to. It needs to have craziness. Extreme, dude. You need to kind of seem like you're on drugs, but not like a druggie. Like the cool parts of being on drugs. Yeah, man. And when he lifts his arm up, make it really fucking long and crazy. Whoa, that's nice. That's a nice logo. And next up from 1998 is none other than Banjo-Kazooie. Now this one... First there was Donkey and Diddy Kong, then Diddy and Dixie, Dixie and Kitty, Mario and Yoshi. Okay, okay, you get the point. So what's the big deal? Well, listen up, because there's a new dynamic duo from the creators of Donkey Kong Country that sound like and Goldeneye Nelson. that's ready to kick some serious excitement into Nintendo 64. It's Banjo-Kazooie! The coolest headbanging, beak-busting, sky-flying, rock-hopping, egg-shooting, tag-teaming duo in a new game with so many thrills, chills, spells, and splats, you won't be able to put it down! <laughs> so what's the story? Here's the deal. Tootie, Banjo's little sister, has been kidnapped by the very ugly and evil witch, Gruntilda, who has snatched Tootie because she's just too beautiful. I think the main thing with this game is just that... The platforming is just not very precise, and the jumps never felt like they were long enough. And when you missed something, you just had to do a lot of backtracking. But like, going through the world is great. It was so fun to see a new world, and what were the new enemies going to be like, the environment. The way that they did the level design where it felt like people See, lived there you know like there's a fence there here's a boat when you go into the like the holes of the boats and you know the big uh, cargo ship and stuff like it's, things are in the right place pretty easy huh don't count on it luckily in their battle against evil our heroes can get help from a number of different characters like mumbo jumbo whose magical power this guy's really familiar and kazooie into all kinds of creatures that help them do things and go places they couldn't before just john lovitz the mole this bucktooth shrew is full of secrets to help you learn new moves and get out of trouble Plus, yeah that's john lovitz objects, like that's who the kids will like knows. You know, John Lovitz, one of the most annoying guys on Saturday Night Live in the 80s and 90s. Kids love his cartoony, obnoxious voice. Don't forget to stock up on eggs for ammunition. These will allow you to defeat and ward off enemies. Plus, there are gold. Wow. A lot of tips. At 22.16 hours, we got a call that a man was acting erratically in the store. He was acting like a maniac. When we arrived on the scene, <laughs> the store had been emptied of its customers because of the behavior of this gentleman. It took us a while to control the situation, and there was some frustration involved. We've had three incidences this week. I wouldn't... Anyways, SNL's been going since the 70s. All right, Banjo-Kazooie. A game worth checking out and play at your own pace. And a fascinating, a fascinating uh, relic of gaming history. One that I'm, and use save states. Using save states is actually, would make it a million times better. Because the things that are annoying are like dying and then having to go back and get all the notes. Or falling and then having to get all the way back up. Save states is the best way to go. Probably the 14th best N64 game. 